All right, y'all. Welcome back to another video. It's August 13th. We're out here pretty early. We're gonna do some scouting today, and then I guess show you guys what we're gonna find. But we have our new buddy Taysom on the camera. He's one. Of, he wants to learn how to film and record and edit and all that kind of stuff. So he's gonna be tagged along with me this season and doing all the filming mostly and some of the editing. And then we're gonna take him squirrel hunting, do some fishing. So he's never done anything like this. So. But yeah, we already found some something, so we're gonna keep getting back into this thick cover and then uh, find something. So come along, should be a good time. I'm not gonna lie, I ain't see it. You didn't see it? No. You see that? He was walking, he was laying right there. It was a little fawn. It's also a bed right there. So I wonder if I put like one right right here. Get this. Cause this kind of looks like a trail right here. Go right here into the beans. So maybe there's like a big bug. So like if you get like pictures of like big deer, like you can set up a natural right there. Shoot. So usually what I like to do is when I like, I'm looking for a spot, I kind of like, so there's, for a big deer, I guess, like to what I found, it's like to find a big buck, you gotta have food, cover, and water. There's there's like a creek thing over there, so that's water, and then that's beans, so that's ag field, so that's food, and then there's cover, so that's all cover. This is cover, like it's even this itself, grass. like this tall grass right here is cover. Like if they lay down, you would never see them. Right. Those would be sometimes you walk through a field. You're like oh there's something out there and you start walking and your deer just start jumping up I'm loving dipping. so this is like my thought process if you see so right there you park the truck we're maybe 100 200 yards from the truck now and the, that main trail people walk out and they see that big trail that goes all through this woods over here right. i guarantee you the like there's big deer over there don't get me wrong there's de big deer everywhere but like right. the big big ones like the ones that i'm going for now because i've i've shot like a good deer you know a little bit better one and then now i want to get like a like a freaking magnum take it to the next right yeah so what i think is like they're the smart ones they're probably over here bedded or you know like a bush like this they could be laying right here the wind blowing over them because they have really good noses so like the wind blowing over them i guarantee you that they lay like right here and they can see all that and they can probably see our stupid lights in the morning walking down in here all over there and then they will say away from there so i think that they're over like over here yeah and that too because like you got one right here say or if somebody else come boom right in the morning with all their lights and shit and they end up dipping off They'll yeah be able to see like think, which way they yeah go. and then another thing is like so people use it so like there's either you got to get really really deep into it but lately i've noticed like people you know watch the hunting public or whatever and it's like their youtube channel like they do public hunting land and they give you tips like how to like find big deer and mature deer and kill big bucks whatever and like one of their things is like going in further than like most people yeah. so like we did that for a while like we walked like two three miles way back into a piece of public you know and yeah yeah we killed like the big deer but like you also gotta look at like the overlook spots so like this is what this is kind of like one of the overlook spots i think because everyone parks there sees a trail walk up there right yeah. and you have all these woods over here it's like they're all there's probably hundreds there so like when, you, when you're chasing bigger deer you don't necessarily see more deer like a lot of like does and stuff but you see a lot more the deers you do see are used a lot bigger but like and you also got to use like learn from your experiences so last year i went way deep in there and i ran into more hunters than i did when walking a mile that way so it's like one of those things I didn't kill a single deer last year. That was the first time in like years. Boom, right there. See that? That's the bed right there. But it kind of looks like, you look at it, like you can kind of see there's a trail. Yeah, so it's not going to be like a heavily used trail, like how you'll see when there's a lot of does. Because there's obviously a lot more does than there is what's bucks. The, what's the doe like just? The does a female. Okay. So there's bucks and does. Does are females. The babies are called fawns. So there's fawns, does, and bucks. There's button bucks and all the other stuff, but generally it's just bucks and does and fawns. 
you can kind of see like just like look out there and you you can almost pick up like a trail like you just see like a like a beaten path but we'll walk past this way and if you don't find another spot for the other camera i might throw one right here i'll probably put the cell camera back there because that'd be further in and I, so uh, we don't gotta like walk in mm -hmm. as far to check it i can just because it, it sends it to my phone like the pictures right. the other the other kind of camera is like you gotta come here pull the sd card out check it on the computer so it's just there's no like nothing in there. I can't tell if it's like a bed or what. Maybe right there, but it's hard to tell if they get down in there. Let's go right here too. Oh yeah, that is a bed. Lay right there. We will walk that way. We're up in here. And then they're laying right there under this tree. You see the trail? You see how the grass is folded that way? So that means they're walking. See how it's like flattened that way? That means they're walking that way. Going up in there. There's a deer bed right here. But, yeah, if you come down here, you, you crouch like right here. And just look, like, look how much they can see laying down here, right? But you would never know because the thing about that goes down. So they're sitting right here, they'll see the top of things. They're covered and right here to my left dips down. So whatever's laying there can see all this basically without them even seeing them because they'll be above eye level of anything down in this little creek bottom right here that's dried up so i think we're going to throw a camera up right here and uh oddly there's not a lot of room to work with so like, i'm not sure exactly how we would attack it but there is a lot of a lot of deer traffic going through here so and we're like right on the property line too of the public line to this guy's fire lane right here so we're going to throw a camera up right here see what we get I have a cell ca I have two cameras I have a cell camera and then I have a regular trail camera that I've, I've used the last couple of years but we're gonna throw one up on this tree right here all oh, this Jason this is a wild game I've had these for like three years these are like fairly cheap they're like 30 bucks camera mm -hmm. not bad at all it's got an SD card in it I don't think I have any batteries I'm not putting this high at all so I hope Hopefully no one comes back here. 2023. Do this. Hop on Onyx. Playpoint. This year I'm gonna do black. Take a picture. Oh, show camera. So, trying to see the scenery if I'm like struggling to find it. Cause sometimes you leave these things out for a while. Another thing I like to do is, so if you have Onyx or you know whatever app you use to like make pins and marks and stuff, you your map tends to get really clustered with a whole bunch of marks, you know. And so when you put a mark down, it's red. So what I do for every year, I choose a color, so like this. But you see how all those are red? And some of them are pink, some of them, and some of them are black. So this year I, I chose black. But I do that every year, so that way, like when I go look at the map and I'm trying to like evaluate a spot that I've been to. I can be like, okay, well, back in 2020, you know, there was buck beds here, or, you know, we've seen a deer off the road here, and then, so that way, you can kind of see what years and stuff like that, so it kind of keeps everything a lot more organized, because obviously every year, things change, but, like, you know, if you can use the stuff that you've seen years past, it can help you in your current season, so...
Looks like me after Taco Bell, man. <laughs> Thank you.